welcome back everybody in this lecture we will work over this edit account if this user clicks this edit account so we can show their a form here so they can change their account details basically so first of all we will work over here uh, we will say if uh, you know in a PHP we will say if we'll start a PHP block over here we'll say if is not set dollar underscore get my underscore orders if that is not uh, clicked or we'll close the curly bracket here if that is not clicked or once again if it is not set change underscore account sorry uh, edit underscore account if that is not active or if change underscore pass is not active or if delete underscore account is not active there are four I mean if it sits and also we have added the respective curly brackets then we will echo this thing we'll echo this thing we'll change this to single quotes double quotes to single stroke because we already added that in the echo statement and we'll also remove this okay that's fine now to list to save refresh the page when you will click this so that will be that will disappear this text or you click this or you click this or you this that will disappear so simply uh, when we have clicked that I mean my orders or something like that I mean we have clicked this my orders so we will include a page or here in another PHP block we we'll simply say if is set dollar underscore get if is set my underscore orders that is basically this one I am talking about this variable my orders this is a link basically and we have given a get URL variable if that is active and clicked so we can simply include a page include my underscore orders dot php we have not created this we are just going to create it Control S to save. Now we will simply go create a new file and we will open that uh, customer registered page and we'll copy all the things, I mean, all the code from here by using Control C and we'll put it here, we'll paste it here in the new page. And this is a very long code, but can simply uh, save it by using Control S, and we will save it inside the customer folder with the name my underscore orders dot php. That's it. Then we 
but we can simply remove all the other things from here I mean this whole header ATC and all these things search box and navigation gates yes everything we just need this form yes this form which we earlier had we need this form and we will also remove no there is nothing we will only remove this footer ATC and this HTML wagera. and this takes as well div takes we only only need this form take so now control s to save now when someone will click this my orders i mean edit account my account edit account sorry 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 we have given a wrong name to this this is not my order this is a edit account we can go to that folder uh, inside htdocs customer account and we can change its name to edit account actually edit underscore account dot php that's it now we'll once again click this can refresh it sorry we need to change this to edit account not my orders because right now we need to work or edit account that's it and if I set edit underscore account control s to save because or the orders page we will work later on now refresh so you will see this page create an account we'll change this this data to something like uh, we will also remove this Samantha ITC welcome Samantha we will remove that from here we will put that into this thing just cut it from there we will put it here yes that's fine actually we need to put it inside the echo statement here and simply close the h2 take welcome ok that's fine control s to save go there refresh the page and now you can see create an account if there is nothing in only my account so there will be welcome Samantha and this thing if someone clicks edit account or my orders or anything so this will be this will disappear basically you can see now this person can easily change their account so we'll go to we'll we will once again uh, I mean open that page which is edit account so we'll just change something like this text to update your account and uh, just come over here replace the page update your account so after the updating their account we can simply show them this person's details we can put them inside this you know these input fields 
so they can see their details and after that they can change them basically so that thing we are uh, basically doing in the next video tutorial stay tuned